Peter, I'm your replacement. I'm Bruno. I know, Bruno. Yeah. Bruno, how did this happen? You're American. Yeah, yeah. How did this happen, Bruno? I was checking the antenna and I slipped. Huh? It's all iced up. The heating system must be broken too out there. Huh. Well, can you walk on this? I don't really want to. I know. Come on. We're almost there. Okay. Come on, get in. There you go. Hey, don't forget my drums! Okay, I'll send them as soon as I can. Thanks again. Bye for now.
Ja, Helmut hier. This is Winter Wonderland Base. Peter, aus Bruno. He's fine, he's on his way in the chopper. Listen, I've located the malfunction, I'm gonna go out and take a look. Yeah, but be careful. You're all we got left. Don't worry. Are you receiving? Affirmative. All systems are go. The Illuminate was out of sync, and, uh, and Bruno was right. The heating system was down also. Sorry about the emergency. Oh, don't worry about it. Believe me, you did me a favor. I need the break. Your band sends the What's that? Your band sends the regards. Oh, don't worry. They'll live without me. You know, they're never going to see me again. I'm going to put engines on this mom and blast off. What is what you do? We'll stop putting your paychecks in the bank in Basel. Oh, yeah? Then I'll come down there and break your legs. Oh, you will? Good night, Peter. Good night from the top of the world. Whiskey Mike 1, Alpha Tango Echo. Whiskey Mike 1, Alpha Tango Echo. CQ, CQ, DX, anybody on frequency? Whiskey Mike 1, Alpha Tango Echo. CQ, CQ, DX, anybody on frequency? This is Whiskey Mike 1. Alpha Tango Echo, CQ, CQ, DX. Anybody on frequency? This is Hotel Bravo 9. Romeo Foxtrot X-Ray, on frequency. I'm uh, sorry, but I don't copy you very well. Look, I'm not copying you well either. Uh, go to... Uh, 2.995 megahertz. Do you copy me now? Like your next door. Where are you? Vinyl Haven, Maine. Give position and type of vessel. I'm not on a vessel. I'm in the Alps. The Alps? No way. My radio could never reach that far. You're probably an American ship just offshore. Hotel Bravo is Switzerland, my friend. I've got a special antenna. I've got a special antenna, too, but I can't reach Europe. Quit putting me on. Over and out. Hey, wait it. Wait a second, I'm looking for uh, Vinyl Haven on the map. It's an island, directly south of Bangor. You see it? Oh yeah, I found it. Right on the ocean. Yeah, listen. That's the Atlantic. I can hear it. You want to hear what snow sounds like? <laughs> hey, tell me about uh, your antenna. Well, you tell me what kind you have. I can't, but it's real special. Well, then I can't tell you either. This is top secret stuff here, you know. Uh, well, if I tell you first, then you have to tell me, okay? And no cheating. I swear. Whiskey Mike, how old are you? Thirteen. <laughs> Actually, I'm eleven, but I will be twelve in two months and three weeks. How old are you? Well, <laughs> I'm a little bit older. But listen, tell me about your special antenna. No way, you first. Okay. 
I worked at an international television station near the borders of France and Italy. A relay station or an earth station? Earth station. Civilian telecommunications. I get it. You're a parabolic dish. Fifty feet wide. Hey, how many satellites do you pick up? I don't know. Uh, you know, every once in a while one disappears, another one turns up. It's hard to keep track. You know, sometimes I can see one from the lighthouse. I can follow them all across the sky. Ah, you're using the lighthouse antenna. Well, no one uses it anymore, and everything's automatic. Hello? Where'd you go? Hey, how big is the crew? I'm all alone, and 9,000 feet above sea level. Uh, what did you say your call sign was? Hotel Bravo 9, Romeo Foxtrot X-Ray. My name's Peter. Peter. You know, Peter, you're my record. You're the farthest away I ever reached, and the first person out on board a ship. Well, it's an honor. Tell me, why do you only speak with ships? Well, because I'm doing some research on... Well, you know, studying. Well, Big Dan worked on the ship, and this was his radio. Well, who's Big Dan? <sighs> My father. He was captain of a tanker, and about a year ago, there was an accident in the South Atlantic, and his ship went down. And he was lost at sea. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, lost doesn't mean dead. There's been people lost at sea, and they still come back after years. Well, that's true. That's true. Hey, what's your name? Danny. How about coming to the table? Everything's ready. I'll be right there. What's that? Um, I was just talking to my sister Sylvie. Uh, listen, I have to go eat now, okay? Call me back later. Remember, my call sign is Whiskey M Mike One. Alpha Tango Echo. Over. Over. Who are you talking to? Some guy who lives in the snow. Another Eskimo? Mm -mm. He lives in Europe, in the Alps. Aren't you interested in ships anymore? This happened by accident. I was following a freighter south of Iceland, and I lost it. And then all of a sudden, there he was. Is your new friend nice? He likes to kid around. Promise me you'll go to bed early, so you'll be able to get up in the morning. Another business dinner? The last time I went out was a month ago. You're right. It was a month ago. I won't be late. Hi, how are you? Hi, Sylvie. Who is this? Oh, I'm sorry, but uh, Bruno's not here. 
He had an accident. I replaced him. Oh, he's not serious, I hope. He broke his leg. I'm sorry to hear that. What's your name? I'm Peter. Oh, Peter, the great. Yeah, where, where are you calling from? Odessa. Would you like to continue the game? Move my rook to C6. Do what? The black rook to C6. Look, I'm sorry, but I, I only play drums, okay? Drums? What is drums? I have never heard of such a game. Why don't you let me teach you chess? Uh, look, really, thanks a lot anyway, but no thanks. Uh, I will find another player. That's the dining beater. Bye-bye. Ah, and say hello to Pierre. To who? Are you Pierre? This is Wonderland. Yeah, Peter. So what can I do for you? Listen, I'm running a check on channel W54. Something wrong? How's your reception? I got no problem here. Reception's fine. Why? Got interference? Well, not really. Just, just some slight intermittent sputtering. It might be the monitor. Let me know if you need a new one. Yeah, yeah. Okay? No, thanks. It's all right. Peter. Uh, I just need some fine tuning. Peter. Sorry to bother you. Bye. Watching the fight? Just ended. Yeah, who won? 
Sugar Ray, split decision! I can't believe it. Couldn't you watch it from the station? I was, but there's a snowstorm here. I lost the channel. You lost the satellite? No, I'm, I'm still getting all my other signals, but this one was an extra one. It was superimposed over the fight, and uh, now I've lost both. What's it look like? That's some stupid movie. I've got a visitor here. Oh, yeah? Tell me about it. A rabbit. A rabbit? Really? Yeah. I think he belongs to the guy who was here before me. What's his name? Pierre. Pierre? That's your name in French. Oh, yeah. I like that. This isn't a movie. What? What? What'd you say? I don't copy. This signal that I'm receiving, this can't be a movie. It's the same exact angle for the last 20 minutes. The camera hasn't moved at all. What do you see? It's just a room. But as soon as I... This is live. What? There were two men. One shot the other right in the head, uh, cleaned up the floor and dragged the body away. Wow. What were they saying? There's no sound. What's happening now? Nothing. Wait a minute. Something's moving. What is it? It's a cat. Well, what kind of cat is it? White. Stripes. A uh, few spots. Now, who cares what kind of cat it is? Every little detail could be important. Oh, listen, I gotta go now. Call me tomorrow, okay? Okay. Peter? What? You think it was a real murder? Let's hope not, huh? Yeah. Good night, Peter. Good night, Dad.
Get a move on. All right, all right. And here's a clean shirt. Hmm. Hotel Bravo 9. Foxtrot X-ray from Whiskey Mike 1, Alpha Tango Echo. Danny! Shh. Not so loud. My mother, my sister's still asleep. Listen, Danny, there's a woman in the apartment. I've got her on tape. The owner of the cat? I don't know. Maybe the cat owns her. Well, what's she doing? Nothing interesting. Oh, come on. She must be doing something. Nothing, really. Uh... She sat down, she wrote in a journal, and she uh, spoke to somebody, but they were off camera. I couldn't see them. Couldn't hear a thing. Uh, do you think she knows she can be seen like she knows there's a camera there? I don't think so. I mean, she seems completely unaware of it. it. Must be hidden. Maybe it's like one of those electronic eyes, you know, for security. You, you suppose she knows about the guy who was killed? I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, if I could hear her, it would help. Hey, you know what I think? Something moved during that blizzard. And now you're getting signals for another satellite. No. This is an extra signal interfering only on this video channel. Everything else is normal. What kind of frequency are you getting it on? Very high. Around six gigahertz. There must be something really important in that room. What does the woman look like? Well, she's young. I'd say mid-20s. That's not young. Yes, it is. Would you, would you let me finish, please? She's uh, not very tall. A nice figure. Blonde. Green eyes. Her mouth is... Uh... Like what? Nice mouth. Lips like... Uh... Peter, <laughs> are you falling in love? Hey. Don't be a wise guy, huh? I'm just describing her to you. Now, if she were here, probably wouldn't be on the radio with you. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Danny? Danny? Coming! Hey, listen, I gotta go now. I'm late for school. I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. You look nice today, Mom. What do you mean? Nothing. Just, you put a bow in your hair. Oh. You like me better without it. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. Wasn't this guy Bill supposed to come to supper? Would you really like to meet him? Yeah, just, just to check him out. <laughs> He's not an engine. Check him out. What a way to talk. Mom, what about the boat? Let's not talk about that right now, okay? Anyhow, I already know it's up for sale. <sighs> we need the money. Listen, it means to me as much as it does to you, and you know that. Try to understand. It just sits there, rotting. It'll be years before you can run it. So? Don't you think it's about time to start changing some things? You can change if you want to, but not me. And yellow and red make orange. These, then, are the secondary colors. Green, orange, and purple. The color spectrum, which results, consists What's of... What's that? From a house and a woman. Violet. Without a face? If she had a face, what kind of mystery would it be? Okay, see you after lunch. Don't run.
Hey, Peter. I figured it all out. Tell me, go ahead. What's in the list? In the last two years, a new generation of small, lightweight satellites made of plastic materials have been put into orbit. It's so difficult to detect them, they had been dubbed phantom satellites. They are the most sophisticated spy satellites in space. How about that? That's great. But I'm sorry to tell you that this ain't one of those. Are you sure? I'm sure. Your standard spy satellite operates at low altitudes. But this one is geostationary above the Atlantic, 22,000 miles up. Uh, I was sure they were spies. Well, guess what? What? They are spies. They're even transmitting in code. I have no idea what the code is, but for some reason my antenna is receiving it. The signal is going from wherever they are to some place in Europe. And we know for sure there are at least two of you watching us. Yeah, but I'm not a spy. I'm just a, a peeping Tom. No, you're not. You're a double spy. A what? You're watching her, but she doesn't know you're watching her. And the other guy is watching her. But he doesn't know you're watching her either. But I'm watching you, and you're in double trouble. Now that's enough. You're going too far. We're waiting for you, so you get downstairs this minute. Danny? Danny? Danny! Danny! like it? I know you like sailing. That's beautiful. What is it, a clipper? Huh? It's a... He doesn't know, Mom. It's a Spanish galleon. It's a Great Bank schooner from around 1920. You're right. Well, they all look alike to me. It's nice here. This house. Lighthouse. The channel, the ocean, the seagulls, the grass, the wind. I like him, really. He's a nice guy. Do you mean it? Yeah, sure, why? I don't know. Just ask. Come on. This is Whiskey Mike 1, Alpha Tango Echo, CQ, CQ DX. Anybody on frequency? Peter? Peter? Are you there? Peter? Whiskey Mike 1, Alpha Tango Echo, CQ, CQ DX, anybody on frequency? Whiskey Mike 1, Alpha Tango Echo. I copy, I copy. Stop shouting, I'm here. What's wrong? I was sleeping. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I call you later? What's new? Lots have happened since I spoke to you last. Now, first of all, I am positive that she's in a uh, time zone west of Europe. Because it was still daytime there when nighttime fell here. How many hours difference? I don't know, because I went to bed. All right, now listen to this. She comes into the room carrying a briefcase, which she places on a table. She takes off her coat, then there's a guy who walks on camera. Looks like he's been waiting for her. They speak for a few seconds, then she walks off camera. All right. When she does, the guy go 
goes through her briefcase. And you know who the guy is? The killer. Looks just like him. What else? All right. He takes some papers out of her briefcase, and then he walks off the camera. That's all? Will you calm down? Then, seconds later, there are close-ups of some diagrams. What kind of diagrams? They're a highly complex electronic circuit. For what, I don't know. Hotel Bravo 9, Romeo Foxtrot X-Ray, from Uniform Victor 3, Tango Juliet. Who is this? Peter the Great, I find you. How about Beckham? You like backgammon? No, I don't like anything, okay? Please don't call me anymore, okay? All right, all right, that's the thank you. Thank you, bye. <laughs> Who's that? Some Russian ham. Hmm, Peter, you know what I think? What? If this guy's a killer, maybe he's gonna kill her too. Well, that's none of our business. What do you mean? We gotta warn her. It's almost impossible. But can't you find any clues? Has the room got windows? Of course it has windows. Well, what can you see? Uh, nothing. Uh, a building. A big white building. It's uh, marble, classical Greek style. It's like any official building in any city. Can you see a street sign or a store? Something like that. Zero. Oh, man. Look, Peter. I gotta go to bed now. I really hope they don't kill her. Look, I want you to call me right away if something happens, okay? And at any time, even in the middle of the night, okay? Promise? I promise. Good night. Good night, Dan.
Danny! I'm here! Danny, listen. James Earl Fraser statue of Alexander Hamilton in the facade of a treasury building in Washington, D.C. Graced the back of every American $10 bill. Excuse me, Miss Lee. Do you have a $10 bill? I have to see something just for a second. I should have. Thank you. Danny, where are you going? Danny, my ten dollar bill. My ten dollars. Okay, I got one. Now, look at it carefully. You're a genius, young man. Then it's Washington, D.C. Listen, take, take this number down. Shoot. Shamrock Market, 441-0277. Okay, Shamrock Market, 441-0277. Got it. Okay, hey, but first you got to get the area code for Washington. I know. Shamrock Market, good afternoon. Uh, hello. Excuse me, but it's really important. I want to return a wallet to a woman. She's one of your, uh, customers. How'd you get hold of it? She, uh, she dropped it in the subway and I found it. Listen, kid, I got 200 people a day coming in here. I can't help you. You can't help us. Uh, ask for the delivery boy. Uh, excuse me. Hello? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're very busy with taking orders, but, you know, it's very important. And there's a lot of money in the wallet. And, uh, could you ask one of the boys that delivers in the area? Okay, but which one? Uh, which one? Uh, hold on. Which one? Um, blonde. Very square face. Uh, he's a, he's a, he's a blonde square. He's blonde with a very square face. <laughs> you must mean Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy? Is it Jimmy? Just say yes, say yes. Yeah, yeah, that's him, that's him. All right, hang on, I'll see if he's here. Ah, oh, thanks. What'd he say? Hold on, he's looking for him. Will you relax? You're doing just fine. No, I'm thinking about what's going to happen when the phone bill comes. Hello? Uh, hello, Jimmy? Yeah? Uh, listen, you don't know me, but I'm looking for a woman, and I need her phone number because uh, I have to give her back her um, wallet. What are you talking about? What kind of woman? Uh, she's a uh, medium height. Uh, she's a uh, blonde. Oh, she lives right next to the treasury building. The treasury building. A lot of Danny? Next to the treasury building. Why is the door locked? It's Open it, please. Thousand. I can't. I'm on the phone. And I believe you delivered the... Oh, I know you mean. Yeah, it was me. It was you? Great! 
Yeah, Mrs. Sweeter. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, that's right, that's her. Uh, listen, uh, what'd you say her name was? Uh, Sweeter, Anna Sweeter. Anna Sweeter. S-W-E-D-E-R. W-E-D-E-R. Anna Sweeter. Okay, thanks a lot, Jimmy. Wait! Danny, get the phone number. Uh, Jimmy, are you there? Jimmy, uh, listen, uh, um, her phone number. 864986. Uh, right. Uh, thanks a lot, Jimmy. Bye. <sighs> Got it. Good work, Danny. Thanks. All right, all right. You ready? Yep. Now, listen to me. Her phone may be bugged, so you, you, you don't say your name, you don't say anything, even if she asks, okay? You gotta be clear and brief. Clear and brief. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Wait, I have to go first. Hi, did you sleep well? Hi, did you telephone well? Who are you talking to? A friend of mine. Why did you lock the door? What were you talking about? A woman. I heard you talking about legs. <laughs> Listen, Mom, it's better if you keep out of this. Danny, I want to talk to you for a minute. Don't worry, I know everything. See you tomorrow night. Okay. Everything's in the fridge. But don't do what you did last time and eat only tuna fish and chocolate, okay? Are you going out with that guy again? I'm going to Boston because I want to see about that job. And also to have a look at that house for rent. Is he going along? He has nothing to do with this. I'm going because I'm interested in the job and the house, okay? You should come and see it too. I'd like you to. I'm not interested. I don't care if it's nice or not. Well, I do. You're not the only one that counts, you know. Okay, okay, but I'm not moving anywhere. I like it here. But I don't. Anymore. Okay. So long, kiddo. I'm leaving you a big kiss. I don't know. There she is, she... Hello? Uh, hello, uh, Mrs. Weeder? Yes? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm calling from Bonner... Don't tell her where you're calling from. Well, uh, never mind where I'm calling from. My, my name is... Dan don't tell her your name. You're anonymous. What? You're anonymous, Dan. I'm anonymous. I mean, uh, you don't know me, but you gotta listen to me. Who is this? See, we're friends of yours, but you don't know us. My friend and me. But we just want to warn you. You're being watched. Well, what is this? Some kind of joke? No, it's not. It's true. You can't tell because the camera's hidden. But look, they're spying on you day and night by satellite. They also killed a guy in your house. Listen, I'm in no mood to play games. No, it's true. Please don't hang up. Look, um... Tell her about the camera. It's hidden inside the apartment. Uh, you have a white sofa and a spotted cat. Tell her about my station. You see, my friend Peter wor works at this relay station, and he gets signals from satellites. You and everything you do ends up on his monitors. I mean, I can prove it. Right now, you're wearing it. What's you wearing? A dark robe with stripes. And her hair is wet. Uh, you're wearing a dark robe with stripes. And your hair is wet. Make a gesture. Any gesture. She just ran her hand through her hair. 
Uh, you just ran your hand through your hair. Did she hang up? She ran right out of the room. Listen, call her back. Tell her that the camera is inside the apartment. It's ringing. Oh, good, let it keep ringing. Peter? I've lost the transmission. Peter, she's not answering. She must think it's a joke. It's no joke. She was scared. Uh, yeah, I hear something. Did she answer? No. Listen to this. Hang up. Why? Hang up now! What'd you yell at me? Because they were tracing your call. Oh. You want visitors at your house tonight, huh? No. Peter, I'm scared. Look, relax. You didn't stay on the phone long enough, I promise. I just wish you would have told her that the camera is inside the apartment. I was trying to, but how am I supposed to talk to two people at once? You in one ear and her in the other. I was trying to, but she hung up. Okay, okay, forget it. Forget it. She ran out of the room. She'll probably run out of the house, call the police. Uh, probably the best thing we could have done was frighten her. Well, maybe she just locked herself in. Well, we have no way to find out. Now the guy's gonna come, and he's gonna kill her. We don't know that. And it's gonna be all my fault. What do you mean, your fault? I started this whole thing, huh? Look, Danny, we did everything we could. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Yes, yes, we... Big Dan would have given up. He went 50 miles off course in a storm once to save a Greek ship. If it weren't for him, the whole crew would have drowned. Oh, I'm sure Big Dan was a great man, Danny. But if he were... That was... is... Excuse me. Yes. Look, Danny, this is what you can do. You call the police. You tell them everything. I can't do that. Why not? They're gonna they're gonna take away my radio. I have no license. And then without the radio, we we we'll just well, we couldn't. We we'll just All right. I'll call the police. No, don't do it. I'm gonna take care of this myself. Whiskey Mike, if you do anything stupid... So you're not my friend anymore! Danny! Danny! Don't call back. He's not going anywhere. Don't call back.
Danny, come on, pick up. signals. Are you getting flickered? No, everything is fine here. All power is normal. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. It must be coming from somewhere else. Bye. Who are you? Excuse me, ma'am. I'm the person that called yesterday, remember? I came by before, but you weren't in. Yesterday, I forgot to tell you something very important. You want to come in? Thank you. All right. What's so important? The camera. They're not spying from outside. It's inside. Somewhere here in your house. Yesterday we, uh... Wait. Yesterday, all you did was scare me. Well, I would have told you, but you hung up. Actually, I was a little mixed up because my friend kept butting in. Oh, yes. You said that your friend could see me. Yeah, and I'm under. And who's your friend? His name is Peter. He's up in the Alps. In the Alps? Yeah, I don't know exactly where. I just know he works in a satellite station. And he has a big, big antenna that catches half the world. I just talked to him on the radio from my house. I never seen him. He saw me on one of his monitors? Yeah, he was watching this boxing match, and he got the signal by accident. There was no sound, but the picture was real clear. And he could see you and your house very well. But this is not the same room. 
Have you got a big room with white sofas and two columns? Have you or your friend talked to anyone else? No, this is a secret. Okay. You stay here. Right here. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay. Okay? You're not going to believe what I've done. I'm not Danny. Who are you? Who are you? Is this Danny's sister? Danny has no sisters. I'm his mother. Who are you? Sylvie. Yes, who are you? I'm your son's radio pal. My name's Peter. Is he there? No, he's not. And I'm very worried. He should be home at this hour. Uh, what did you say? Uh, you see, I've been trying to call him all day, but he turned the radio off. What is going on here? Sylvie, this whole thing began as a game.
possibility, but I really wouldn't panic. <gasps> Who's panicking? My son is just taking a brief trip to Washington to resolve a minor international incident. He'll be back shortly and in time for dinner. There's nothing to be concerned about. Oh, come on. Look, he's probably down the block at a friend's house. Then he has no friends. He's always playing with this stupid radio. Look, give me the address in Washington. Well, I don't have the exact address, but uh, it's near the Treasury Building. The woman's name is Sweeter. Are you there? What? Peter? What? Where are you going? Peter, answer me! Yeah. He's in Sweeter's apartment, but he's all right. Are you sure it's him? I'm sure it's him. He said my name. What does he look like? He's got uh, short brown hair, big brown eyes. Oh, come on. He's a great-looking kid. Is he alone? I don't know. What's he doing there? Why doesn't he leave? I don't know. She's part of it. Peter? Peter? Hello? Peter, are you there? Are you going to work with me on this? Listen, this is all your fault. That, that, that is not important right now. It's not going to help Danny. Now calm down. <sighs> OK, OK. I'm calm. I'm calm. <laughs> all right. Now listen to me. They're holding Danny, but they've given me a frequency, and they want me to contact them with my position. They say that if I do, that they'll let him go. Well, what are you waiting for? I don't trust them. I think... Just give them what they want! And what if they don't let him go? Huh? Don't you 
Don't you see? Right now, it's something that they want from me. Something they need. Give them what they want. Okay. Okay. I'll give them my position. I'll give them anything they want. Hello? Sylvie, it's Bill. Bill who? Bill. Did you get home all right? Yeah. Can I come over? It's important. Listen, I don't... I don't... don't have time now. It's about us. I don't care. Leave me alone. Uniform Zulu 4, Kilo Victor. We hear you. We hear you. Go ahead. I'll give you my position. We are listening. But what guarantee do I have that you'll let the boy go? Give us your position, and the boy will be fit. There can be no guarantees. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Can you hear me? Come in! Give us your position! all this way just to warn me? I thought I was gonna save you. Do you think you can forget all this? Yeah, you bet. I'll forget everything. I won't say a word to anybody. I swear. Not even your father? Not even him. And I promise I won't use the radio anymore either. Are you gonna let me go? When I've gone away, I can't do it before. You have to leave? I don't know yet. It's not so simple, and I'm not as important as you think I am. I booked on the 4 a.m. flight. The hour's up. I don't think he's going to give his position. We'll give him another 15 minutes. I know, I know, I know. There's a bad storm here. There's a lot of bad winds. Peter, but a whole monitor bank is going crazy. Well, I'm working as fast as I can to compensate the alignment. I'll call you back.
Land coming to you live via satellite without commercial interruption. Peter! Well, I was just sitting here waiting for the next episode of Anna Sweeter Does Washington, and I thought I just might transmit it and say hello. After all, it's the next best thing to being there. I know you can hear me and see me, and I'd appreciate a response. You know, female companionship is quite limited around here. All right, you want to play deaf and dumb? Well, I've got a little surprise for you. I have scrupulously studied the diagram of your little circuit. And I want to congratulate you, really. Good work. It's like the magic key to the sky. I've got ten satellites in my fingertips now. And what's even better is that I can transmit. I mean, this is really exciting. I'm going nuts here trying to keep myself from transmitting to the entire world all the adventures of your living room. I mean, because... What would everybody say? Don't what worry. Is this? It's... And who is this woman? And this child? Personally, I think this can be worked out. But first, I want you to show me that Danny is safe and sound. Right now. If you don't, I'm going to get up, press a little button, and the Anna Sweeter show will begin all across the hemisphere. You've got 20 seconds. I can't. Where are they? They left. What? What? They ran away. They, 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 they're gone. They ran away. Okay, listen to me. You gotta give me the address of where you are, okay? Write it down. Write it down for me, okay? Danny, hold on a second. They're calling on the radio. Just keep writing, okay? Romeo, Foxtrot, X-ray. This is Hotel Bravo 9. Romeo, Peter. Foxtrot, X-ray. Peter, it's Sylvie. Listen, I'm in Washington with the police. We need the exact address. Can you help us at all? Oh, okay, he, hold on. He's giving it to me right now. Danny, hold up the address. 1455 Pennsylvania Avenue, Northwest Apartment 803. 803. The name is Anna Sweeter. Got it. Now keep this line open. How is he? How is Danny? Just fine, but hurry up. Danny, everything's all right, okay? The police are on the way, all right? Just sit tight. Listen, Danny, I want to tell you something. I'm very proud of what you've done. And Big Dan would be too, you know? But unfortunately, these are not good people. You see, that, that, that circuit, it's... The access code to American surveillance satellites. It gives them the secret code. Every day it changes. But every day these people manage to get the new one and transmit it. They're letting the other guys know what our guys are spying on. Spy satellite. They might be intercepting you. Yeah, break the connections. Blind you. You think they're going to intercept me and blind me? Well, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay with you until everything's okay, all right? Danny, hold on a minute.
nothing. It's nothing. Just the wind. All right. Danny, what is it? Danny? Hey, what's wrong? Smoke? Fire? Washington! Washington, do you read me? Come in, Washington! Washington, do you read me? Washington! Washington! Danny! Danny, just break the windows! Look! Danny! Danny, listen to me! Break the windows! Try to break the windows and stay down low! They're on their way! Danny! Can you hear me, Danny? Danny! Peter! Danny! Hello? Hello? Washington, Washington, is anybody on frequency? Anybody on frequency?
Hotel Bravo 9, Romeo Foxtrot X-Ray. Hotel Bravo 9, Romeo Foxtrot X-ray. Whiskey Mike 1, Alpha Tango Echo. Hotel Bravo 9, Romeo Foxtrot X-ray. Whiskey Mike 1, Alpha Tango Echo. Peter? This is Hotel Bravo. Peter! Danny? Is it you? Danny? Yeah, is it you? Yeah! Is it you? Where are you? I'm here, I'm on the island, near the ferry. In the village? Yeah. He's here! He's here! Bravo 9, Romeo Foxtrot X-Ray. Whiskey Mike 1, Alpha Tango Echo. Secure, secure.